section. Hello everyone. Now this week on the blog, I've asked you to have a look at time and how to measure and tell the time. I hope you've already learnt the days of the week and the months of the year. And I've put a little link to a song on the blogs that you might like to listen to to help you remember it. But I thought I would do a video to tell you a little bit about how to tell the time. Now time can be, can be measured in lots of different ways. You can measure it in seconds, you can measure it in minutes, hours, weeks, day, days, weeks, months, and even years. So if you want to pause the video now and count to 60, not too fast, that will be a minute. So if you pause the video now and count to 60, that will take you to a minute. I'll let you do that for a second. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the clock and this is my clock here and in our clock there are 60 minutes so there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour and we've got 60 minutes around our clock you can see them by these little blue lines here going round the easiest way to count these minutes is to count in five so if I show you with the with the blue hand, look, let's count around the clock together. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So there are 60 minutes in an hour, okay? And this long hand on the clock is called the minute hand. And it's the hand on the clock that points to the minute. So if I'm pointing my hand here, it, we know it's five minutes that have gone. Okay? So the long hand is the minute. And then the short hand, this red one here, is called the hour hand. And that points to the hour that we are in. So when we're reading the time, we always have to look at the hour hand and the minute hand. Now, we're going to learn two um, different ways of telling the time today. We're going to learn o'clock and half past. Okay, so if a clock is saying o'clock, it means it's right on the hour. The hour has just started. It's a new hour. So if I look at this time on my clock here, the minute hand is pointing all the way to the start of the clock at the top of the clock. And that means that it is o'clock. So every time you see the minute hand pointing up, it means it's o'clock, it's right on the 12. Now, to find out what o'clock it is, we have to look at the hour hand, which is this red one. Can you remember? So the red one is pointing to what number? It's the 8. So we say this time as 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. This might be the time that you wake up, or it might be the time that you're having your breakfast before you come to school, eight o'clock. If I change my top, watch the minute hand go round, so it's another hour that has gone round, 60 minutes, and look what happened to the hour hand now. It's now pointing at the nine, and the minute hand is still pointing to the top of the clock, which is o'clock. So this is nine o'clock. Right, I'm going to do you another one and see if you can work out what it is at home. Okay, I wonder if you can work out what this time is. I'll give you a minute. That's right, it is 11 o'clock. So every time that the minute hand is pointing, to the top of the clock, to number 12, we say o'clock. This one is one o'clock. This might be the time that you have your lunch. Okay, let's have a look at half past now. Okay, now half past gives us a clue. We know what a half is, don't we? It's when you split something into two equal parts. And if you imagine cutting our clock in half, which other number would it point to? Ah, the number six. So when our minute hand is pointing to the 12, it's o'clock. 
and when that minute hand goes round to the number six, we call it half past. Now I'm going to do that again and I want you to look at the red hand this time as I move. So we, we said that's one o'clock. Now look at the red hand as I move the clock round to half past. Can you see the red hand, the hour hand, is not right on the one anymore, but it's not right on the two either. It's halfway between the one and the two. It's halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock. So we call it half past one, because it's halfway past one o'clock. Half past one. Right, let's see if you can work out the next time. So this time our clock says four o'clock because it's pointing up to the twelve. But what does this time say? The minute hand's gonna go around. Ah, what time is that? Can you work it out at home? Mm, let's have a look. Well, our minute hand is halfway round the clock, so we know it's going to be half past something, but we need to look at the hour hand just to check. So, half past, oh, where's this hand? Oh, it's gone past the four, halfway past the four. So it's half past four. Now we've got to be careful because it hasn't gone past the five yet, so it's not half past five because the um, our hand hasn't gone past the five yet. It's not at the five yet, it's halfway between the four and the five, so it's half past four. Okay, I'm gonna do you one more. Ooh. This one is one that I always get wrong as well because I always mix up the hands. You have to look really carefully. Remember the long one is the minute hand and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So remember, when it's pointing to the 12, we say o'clock. Now the hour hand is pointing to the six. So have a think at home. Does this time say half past 12? Or does it say 12? Or does it say six o'clock? Is it half past 12 or six o'clock? said six o'clock you are correct because the hour hand is pointing to the six and the minute hand is pointing to the top of the clock which means it's o'clock six o'clock well done everybody i hope you learned something today and i'd like you to have a go throughout the day of telling the time see if you can spot when your clocks at home are telling you it's o'clock or half past I've even put some blank clocks on the blog that you could have a go at drawing the hands on at certain times. Okay, so that's your job this week. I look forward to seeing any pictures you want to post on the Facebook Wow posts or on the blog. I'd love to see them. Thanks for listening. See you soon. Bye.